In sporting news today, Muhammad Ali and his political activism, Gustavo Cuerta named a champion for peace, Amare Studmeyer applies for a job at Foot Locker, two Brazilian twins stop their career and get new breasts, and Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys break up. Muhammad Ali has left his mark on boxing history, but one of his greatest fights didn't take place on a ring but in the political field. In 1966, he refused to enlist in the Vietnam War. We remember. I don't see why, uh, when they asked me about the army, uh, why should uh, me and other so-called Negroes go 10,000 miles uh, away from home here in America to drop bombs and bullets on other innocent uh, brown people who's never bothered us. And uh, I will say directly, no, I will not go. Sentenced to a $10,000 fine and five years in jail, Ali did not serve his sentence in the end. But he was denied a boxing license until 1970. For his big comeback, Ali faced another great champion, Joe Frazier. If Joe Frazier whoops me, I'm getting on my hands on my knees, I crawl across, across the ring, look up to you, say you're the champion. Well, I tell you what, I don't, you might just be on the floor. Oh, if he whooped me, I'll crawl across the ring to him. But in this situation, he's going to be on the floor. I got to walk over Learn more about these historic moments in legend dedicated to Muhammad Ali soon on Trey Sports. Gustavo Cuerten, a champion for peace. The Brazilian was rewarded during the fifth edition of the Peace and Sport International Forum, which took place in Monaco from October 26 to 28. Over 500 politicians, athletes and economists joined forces with Prince Albert II of Monaco to promote peace through sport. Cuerten was rewarded for his work in the IGK Foundation. 530 children and teenagers aged 7 to 15, as well as 30 handicapped individuals, take part in a sports and education program. It is a great honor for me and also my family to receive this award. Uh, we truly believe that sports can make a difference. That's how we work on the IGK Foundation, with passion, with love. Give them hopes. Uh, that's the way we're gonna make a, a better world. We can make a peaceful place. And on behalf of a thousand of children that passed by over this 11 years of our institute, I send you my best regards. Thank you very much. The Lockout has benched all of the NBA stars. To pass the time, some have taken up jobs in exotic-sounding clubs, while others, like Amare Studemeyer, go from one job interview to the next. The New York Knicks player applied for a job at Foot Locker. Hey, it's worth a shot. But he does have some pretty solid arguments, after all. This is not to be taken literally, of course. Take a look. So why do you want to work for Foot Locker? I need a job. I mean, I just don't have, don't have a job right now. And... So hopefully I can get this job, man. I hope you guys really consider me. So out of all the people that I've been interviewing, why you? I was an all-star, man, six times in my previous job. Wow, you know, six times? Yeah, I was six times all-star, you know. Happen to have some type of credibility when it comes down to making the all-star type of team. So welcome aboard. You're part of the team, man. Thanks. I got your shirt right there. and Braca Ferez prefer having nice breasts to winning an Olympic medal. The two Brazilian synchronized swimming champions were getting ready for the London Games when they decided to drop everything and make a name for themselves on TV. And for them, that means getting breast implants. Several Brazilian channels courted the twin sisters and it finally paid off. The two lovely Brazilians simply announced their intention to put an end to their career in order to dedicate themselves to their new job and get implants. To have a winning chance of being media stars, Bia and Braca want new breasts, even if most people don't think they need them. Considerable assets for a new start in life, but a sad way of ending a career. Seventy-two days, that is how long Kim Kardashian stayed married to her future ex-basketball playing hubby, Chris Humphreys. The American reality TV queen filed for divorce on October the 31st. A lightning divorce for a marriage that now looks like a massive hoax. Kim and Chris exchanged their vows on August the 20th. Barely three months later, Kim blames the newlyweds' long-distance relationship. He lives in Minnesota while she jets between New York and Los Angeles. Apparently, distance didn't make the heart grow fonder. 
but it's hard not to see the wedding as a massive hoax. A big publicity stunt for Kim Kardashian organized by American channel E! Entertainment. Apparently, E! Entertainment had already tried to marry off Italian New York Knicks player Danilo Gallinari. To no avail. In the latest news, Kim was spotted with her ex Reggie Bush. Now there's a real love story.